thousands of people that I marched with in just uh, late June of this year, four of them are now dead. For me, the Day of Remembrance isn't an abstraction. It isn't uh, about flags or symbols. Or it is about people that I knew who deserved to live, who didn't live, who, were, who died. And this notion that suicide is a self-inflicted injury is an anathema to me. I believe that suicide in many cases is homicide by proxy. And that many of the trans women who I knew who died, died ultimately by their own hands, but with weapons provided by others. It's a terrible, terrible thing to see people of such tremendous beauty with such great gifts to offer taken away merely because they felt worthless and that life was not worth living. The purpose of remembrance is not to sit around and whine and moan, it's to celebrate life, but it's also to possibly consider that death, the death of these people matters. And perhaps, if the death of these people matters, then our lives matter as well. It is astonishing to me to be here, um, in public, not shamed, not being chased down, but actually being welcomed to a public space to share thoughts. I'm glad, so glad that you are here, and I am so terribly, desperately sad at all the people who are not here, but are, who are here with us in spirit today. It's a very, very difficult day for all of us who identify as trans. So complex. Partly we want to remember, we want to celebrate, partly we maybe feel a little guilt about making it here. Ultimately, I think for me, the way I could introduce and possibly depart from this stage is to say, my name is Nikki Ward, I am proud to be a trans woman, and I am glad to be alive.